Hello! I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not. Today is actually New Year's Day. Um, I've been very productive this morning, so I am excited to get on with this year, to close the door and open up the, the door of this new year. And I hope you are too. I have a, I got a Snuggie. This is my, I actually bought myself one and I bought my sister one. So we both opened them up. So I absolutely love it because it's cold here and I'm nice and cozy. I also wanted to say that if you want to check out my Etsy store, I have some mugs that I created. I just created a January Capricorn mug that is totally amazing. I absolutely love it. And you can personalize it with your name. So I'm going to do the December Capricorn. I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to work on that today. And I'm going to be getting some other mugs out there that I am creating some bedazzled ones. So this is one of the ones that I'm working on. So I'm going to be creating some really fancy mugs. And... I'm going to be um, doing some, I got some Stanley cups, so I'm going to be doing some Stanleys, and I'm going to make a um, Capricorn cup, too. So just wanted to kind of get that out there. Um, if you want to check it out, my link is down below. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, the links are down below. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, because this is going to be an amazing year for all of us. All right, so I just want to get that out of the week, out of the way. Um, don't forget to check out your birthday readings. I post a generalized birthday reading every day. Um, so don't forget to check those out too. Okay, so let's get going and let's see what the first reading. Um, I did do, this is actually um, Tuesday. This is going up Tuesday morning. So this is the day after New Year's, but... Today is New Year's for me. I'm always working. <laughs> so we have our cleansing crystal here. And then I have my vice versa tarot. So there are images on both sides of the deck. All right. So let's see what we have going on here. So what you may be struggling with, okay? We have... The Six of Wands, we have the Eight of Pentacles, and we have the um, number three, which is um, the Star. No, the Three of Cups. Sorry, I've, it's been a while since I've used these, so <laughs> I may, it may have to, because I haven't used these much. Because they have the images on both sides, I really like that, but it's also a lot to learn, and it's a lot to um, you know, there's so many different decks and remembering all of the pictures, but this is a three of cups. All right. So what you need to focus on is we have the three of swords. We have the king of cups and we have the two of cups. All right. And then the energy is coming in. Oh, I love that. It's almost like it's like the phoenix rising, right? The knight of wands. We have, oh, look at that. Look at that. I like that 10 of swords, right? Taking that off, like leaving that behind you. And then we have the devil card, all right? And then we have the overall energy. The front side is the three of pentacles and the back side is the star. That's what I was thinking it was, was the star. I thought this was the star because I knew it was the same, same images. Um, but we'll just keep the three of pentacles here okay so we'll put that there getting down to business getting down to work all right okay so what we have what you may be struggling with is i feel like you're trying to like ending a situation because the, the victory is won here with the six of with the six of wands here so the battle is over you know you feel battered you feel you know worn out but it's like celebrating that victory and celebrating that success and kind of 
putting that year behind you and saying, okay, that's behind me. Yeah, I feel a little worn and torn and like I've gone through the battle, but um, it's rising above that situation and saying, being proud of yourself that you've made it through. But I feel like you're having trouble with that. I feel like you're struggling with that. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Um, so I feel like it's kind of, Eight of Pentacles represents to me, it's like I'm getting down to work, getting busy, focusing, like, and he's teaching the child and the, ch but the child is like learning from this person. And then we have the three of cups, which represents happiness. So I feel like there's some sadness that you're starting with right now, that you're struggling with right now, that you're kind of dealing with, and you're not really recognizing all of those, um, positive things that you've accomplished or that you've done or that you've achieved. And I feel like you're, you're feeling sometimes with the new year, we can feel kind of that heaviness and we can feel like that sadness. And I feel like you're kind of struggling with that. And I feel like there's some new, there's some new things that you want to learn, but it's, it's like you're struggling with that. Well, what should I do different? And, and how should I do that different and, and struggling with that happiness? But I also feel for some reason, I'm feeling like you're kind of questioning the people that you have around you because with the three of cups, it's usually like three people dancing around. And I feel like you may be struggling with the people that you want to surround yourself with. And I feel like you're kind of in that mode of, okay, let me reset. Let me um, figure out what it is that, you know, how do I want this year to look? As I've always said, is you're in control of your year. You're in charge of you're in charge of your life, you're in charge of your world, and how do you want to create that? How do you want to see that? How do you want that to be? How do you want that not only mentally within yourself, but then who are you surrounding yourself? Who are you talking with? Who are you not talking with? And with the three of pentacles for this overall energy, I feel like it's time to get down to work this year and to really focus and really hone in on those things. We have, what do you need to um, focus on what do you need to look at and I feel like it's kind of you're looking at right this three of swords but I also feel like there's flowers growing up behind here and it's raining and to me I feel like the rain represents cleansing I feel like it represents washing away you know like when we take a shower we're washing away the day we're washing away you know like sweat and dirt and but I feel like we're also we feel that it's very cleansing and to me I feel like there, this rain represents this cleansing and this new beginning here and saying yes like I see my challenges I know that I have some challenges ahead kind of looking at that seeing it facing it and maybe it's facing some three of swords energy that you have like that heartbreak or that hurt or whatever that may represent for you and just saying you know what I'm going to face that I'm going to work with it I'm going to deal with it I'm not going to sweep it under the rug anymore and I feel like it's kind of facing your emotions and taking control of those and saying, this is what I'm going to focus on. This is what I'm not going to focus on. That if I want myself to be in a good mood, I have to surround myself with those things that are going to help me to get in a good mood, that are going to help me to feel motivated and kind of being in check of with your emotions and saying, okay, these are the things that I need to focus on and these are the things that I need to let go of. And then we have the two of cups, which is relationships coming together together. Um, and I feel like it's, um, I think that's, I'm trying to remember, is that the symbol? Let me check, check something. No, it's not. I forget. That symbol is on something else. I can't remember what it is. Um, let me check the other side. No, there's another card with that on there. I can't remember. Like I said, I haven't used these cards much, um, but I forget. It's a positive card that this is on. So I feel that it's coming together, working together, partnerships, having that love for yourself. And there could be a new relationship coming in for you, a new partnership, because you know what? You're letting go of an old relationship and you could be starting some new relationships. And this is what you have to focus on is the relationships, not the relationships that make you feel like this, but the relationships that make you feel like this, right? Focusing on those people and those relationships, whether it's friends, family member, partnerships, you know, family member is in there too, because you know, they're still human and we can have, you know, stronger relationships with some family members than others. And sometimes we're just going to have, we have to, f you know, forgive situations and forgive people. And because we don't, you don't want to hold on to that energy of that frustration. So I feel like it's being aware of, you know, what you're focusing on and being more in control of your emotions. 
And then the energy that's coming in for you, which I absolutely love, which is this phoenix, right? You're rising from the ashes that you've been through so much and you're starting this year feeling powerful and strong. You're doing the work that needs to get done. You're taking off this armor. Yes, you may be vulnerable here, but look how beat up this armor is. Look at how much you've gone through. And it's time to set that aside and it's almost time, I almost feel like it's looking at everything that you've done and everything that you've accomplished and how far that you've come and to be proud of yourself for that, right? To be proud of your victories and not focus on the things that didn't happen, but be proud of yourself for everything that you've been through. And then this is the devil card and I feel like it's kind of turning your back on that energy, that toxic energy and leaving that behind you, but also realizing that this is part of your energy, but that you're not gonna focus on that. And with the lotus flower here, and this lotus lotus flower blooming, and I feel that that represents like hope and prosperity and new beginnings, right? A rebirth of yourself. And there's the book is burning there, but I feel like it's kind of out with the old and in with the new. And then there's this orange tree. I think it's an orange tree that's blossoming. So I feel like it's it's new beginning and having it be a fruitful full year. Yes, you're going to have challenges. We all have challenges. But I feel like it's kind of facing it. But I feel that you're that phoenix rising from the ashes. And that's a good thing to feel proud about, right? And it's seeing all of the accomplishments that you've made. So, so I feel like it's getting down to work and make sure that you're focusing on the right things, right? That you're not focusing on that, but you're proud of yourself for moving past things. You're facing things that you need to face, but you're also spending time with the ones that you need to. And again, could be new relationships coming in for some people because you're like, you know what? I've processed this. I've let it go and I've moved on. So now I'm ready to start the next phase. So let's grab, let's see. Let's grab some tarot. I saged my whole living space and I saged all my cards and I cleansed all my cards. So I'm really excited. So we have, look at this, the Eight of Pentacles, which I love this one, which is this one here, which I, I love this one, how he has all of the books and the Pentacles here and he's learning and he's, and I just feel like it's like you're going from here where I feel that you're stuck to here where you're like, um, I'm ready to get into it. And again, we have, the Knight of Cups, which is those emotions and those feelings. And then we have the Chariot. Like I said before, you're in charge of your world. You're in charge of who you surround yourself. Taking the reins, there's a lot of dust and, and that's going on. But look at how confident he looks that he feels. He's like, yeah, I've, I've got this. I've got this. And being proud of that and taking the reins again. And what are you focusing on? So I feel like it's the progression from the Knight of Cups to the um, King of Cups. And saying, like, this is my world that I'm creating. I'm going to learn as much as I can. And I'm going to be more aware of what I'm thinking about and who I'm connecting with. And how do I feel after I connect with that person? Do I feel positive? Do I feel motivated? Or do I feel um, not so good? And if I don't feel so good, then do I need to do something with that relationship? And I just feel like with it being the beginning of the year and Capricorn birthdays, like no better time than now just to start, right? Make those changes. Let's grab, let's see, um, let's grab an animal oracle. I feel like this one here. We have armadillo spirit, set healthy boundaries. That's incredibly important, is to realize that you have to set healthy boundaries. Just like I was saying, that if there are some relationships that you're not feeling so good, with after you've been with that person is, is it time to set healthy boundaries? The boundaries aren't again to block someone else. The boundaries are for yourself. It's not that you're setting walls up and you're shutting yourself out from people It's saying, okay, this is how much is good for me. And then after this amount, then, then it's not so good. And it's, it's something that I have to change. It's something that I have to work on. Right? So it's setting those healthy boundaries. So I feel that that's very important for you to focus on that and to set those up. And if people don't understand, then that's kind of an answer about how they feel towards you and like kind of saying, you know what? I don't think they're really looking out for my best interest because they're more concerned about themselves. Let's grab a Star Dragons.
we have resources. I feel that goes very well with this Eight of Pentacles is finding those resources, finding those things that, that help you. Um, finding those things that help to motivate you that you can learn from. There's so many resources to find things from, right? There's books, there's online books, there's audio books, there's, you know, YouTube videos, there's, you know, Facebook groups that can be helpful for you. Um, there's people that you know, making new connections, new contacts. So maybe it's expanding your resources. All right, let's grab an angel answers. We have you're ready. Yeah, I feel that energy. I feel that energy that you're ready. Um, I definitely feel that. I can I can feel that in this reading that you're ready to make things happen, even though you are struggling here. But I just feel like it's your mindset that needs to switch and needs to to turn around, right? What are you focusing on? Are you, are you focusing on this? It's time to focusing on that. Like you're ready. Get yourself ready. And then let's close out close out with a crystal card. For this reading. All right, that one. Lapis Lazuli. All right, royalty, right? That's royalty. We had the King of, of Cups, which is royalty. We have transformation and immortality. Regal in all forms, Lapis Lazuli was most prized and sought after in ancient Egypt when it was believed to have powers of immortality and the ability to expand the heart's capacity for love. Lapis Lazuli guides the soul and protects its journey from life to death. True wisdom comes from within, and Lapis Lazuli facilitates that by unearthing your core truths, right? Your core truths. This stone appears when you are ready for the spiritual transformation. Look at that. It says you're ready right here, right? So you are ready. Look, at that's another confirmation there. Um, when you are ready for spiritual transformation and takes you to the depths of who you are, unveiling deeper awareness so that you can become the leader of your own life. And that's where I said here is, is a leader. And then the King of Cups is a leader. So I feel like it's really getting in touch with yourself. And I feel like Capricorns are doing that this year. Like they're really going to figure out who they are and the world that they want to create around them. I'm a Capricorn sun and a Capricorn rising. And I just feel like... You know, it's really about creating your world the way that you want it. But you have to learn about yourself first. And you have to figure out what makes me happy, what doesn't make me happy. And figuring out what boundaries do I need to set. Not only for myself, right? Giving myself boundaries that if something negative happens that I'm not going to dwell on it for weeks and months to come. That I'm going to try and get that process down to as short as possible. Um, so that it's, it's not affecting me long term, affecting you long term. So setting your boundaries that are good for yourself, good for other people, good for situations, and just getting in that, that mode and ready to learn. All right. Happy New Year. Um, I hope, I know we're going to have an amazing year. There is no doubt, right? That's the mindset. We're going to have an amazing year and we're going to celebrate all of our accomplishments and we're going to see all of our struggles as something that we have to learn and that do we need to set some more boundaries within ourselves or with other people that we're going to use all of our, our everyday experiences as something that we can learn from and we're going to get go after our goals and make our dreams come true. <laughs> Yay, love it. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.